I wrote the goal in 83, based on the works that I've done since 78, which means basically the goal is the first years of my, the first five years of my work. And at that time, what I've done, and still do, is I took the concepts of physics, the approach of physics, and I applied it to not the material world, like physics or chemistry is doing, not to atoms or electrons or molecules or enzymes, but to human relationships, to organizations. Yes, when I started, people told me, Eli, you are totally out of your mind because people are not predictable. And I've said, really? I think that I can predict very well what will happen to me if I'll tell my wife my true opinion about her new dress. <laughs> what do you mean people are not predictable? If people are really not predictable, there is no base for society. There is no base for a family even. Yes, people are not 100% predictable, but so is the weather. Why won't we take this rigorous cause and effect thinking, this demand for prove what you are saying, and apply it to the social world? The goal is the result of the first five years of my work. And then I continued on, of course. When I was 20 years old, I've committed to my goal in life. That was probably the hardest thing that I've ever done, because when you commit to your goal in life, you think that you sacrifice everything else, which is baloney. You don't sacrifice anything. Remember, there is no, oh, no conflicts. It's only win-win. So choosing the goal just focus you, and you will get all the other things as well. But that's not what you think as a 20 years old. And before that, I was really trying to get a good answer, and I was really desperate, because when you listen to yourself, you will find what's your goal in life. And in my case, it was, still is. My goal in life is, shouldn't be a surprise for you. My goal in life is to teach the world to think. You see that I'm on that path. Let's start to realize that we have built our companies not for next quarter and not for next year. Let's start to realize that we build our companies in order to be really proud of them, really proud of our company, really proud of our people. So things like motivation and collaboration and all of that are important by, in their own merit. Definitely, they are the necessary condition to get long-term prosperity. And here is a way to reach it, common sense way. Whatever you know about TOC, whenever you go into it and read another book, your conclusion is still the same. It's common sense. And talk around you, go on the internet, and you will find out any 
one that tried it got the results. Our brain. We have it. How do I know that we have it? Because once we do the cause and effect, it's so obvious to everyone that everybody calls it common sense. It means you have it. After he's gone through the logic, it is so amazing to go, well, yeah, of course, everybody knows that, but I didn't know it until I sat down and thought about it the way he goes through it. So it's just it's mind-boggling the way it all simplifies everything. And then they start to say, fine, our organization now is in good shape. What about us personally? Teach us. How do we learn to look in this way on the world? How do we put such a beautiful order in our life? Dr. Gorath said, I'm going to teach you how to think. And uh, he, I, I think he, he uh, held to that promise. Uh, and I keep thinking about my 11-year-old son uh, who I want to be able to help him learn how to think. Don't even think of layoff. On the contrary, start to think on how do you gear up to participate in this growth. Reality is simple. We are the one who makes it so complex. This seminar has been so beneficial, so uh, enlightening to keep us, to give us the tools to be better focused and to point out that we are the problem in most of the things that we deal with on a daily basis.